partisan nature of our politics today makes it difficult for even to ask a simple question about the handling of the COVID-19 pandemic without triggering a whole political brawl. This is not helpful. All the same, my condolences to the family. Believe us, many of us share in your loss. I ask us all to be very disciplined about following the WHO guidelines and government directives by taking good care of ourselves. And some of us may understand these protocols a little better. Let us share that knowledge. Let us save lives, no matter whose life is saved. Countrymen and women, all we are doing right now is what has been and has always been a very simple exercise of registration. What is not so simple this time is that the exercise is taking place in a time of a dreadful pandemic that is still evolving and our case still rising. As if all of this is not bad enough, the level of violence, brute force, bloodletting, and sheer breakdown of law and order in an otherwise straightforward act of registering to vote is unbecoming of our country, especially of a country, especially of a country that until recently was hailed as the fulcrum of democracy in our region. How did we descend into this situation? The answer is simple. When there appears to be selective justice, when some offenders are not even placed on the hook, but are hailed and promoted and excused for being nasty and violent, the logical outcome is what we see. This situation of people dying, being harassed because they have decided to register to vote. It's not a story you can tell any child in the future. How will you begin that story? And when that child asks you their favorite question, why? What will we say? And if they add a few questions and they ask, so what did you do? Or what did you say? What will be our response? We need to show up and vote come December 7th. Each one of us must jealously guard our sacred right to vote and reject the attempts by some to disenfranchise some. We are all Ghanaians and we love this country deeply and we make contributions to the running of our country. Do not let anyone make you feel otherwise. The choice we have in this election is very clear. We can either build a Ghana where every citizen, regardless of background, is afforded equal opportunity to become their best selves, or we can continue on a path where a few people attempt to control and dictate the destiny of the people who have given them the privilege to govern in the first place. <laughs> Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let our policies deviate from this unproductive path of injustice and non-peace. We, the people of Ghana, all of us, are the protectors and owners of this country for our collective good and for that of generations unborn.